Welcome to Alexandra TV. I am Alexandra Villahuel Abrego, and you're watching another episode of AVA Wednesday. Today's question comes from Rose, and Rose writes My fiance and I have been together for four years. We had plans for our future. We wanted to buy a house, have annual vacations, and raise a family. Things were going well until last month when he lost his business and has not been able to find a job since. Without his business, we will never be able to have the future that we wanted and that we planned. Even though I love him very much, I don't know if I am willing to settle for a lesser lifestyle. You've always encouraged us to live the life of our dreams and I don't know whether or not I will be able to live what I've always dreamed of with him. Should I go on with the marriage or should I break up our engagement? Well, isn't this an interesting question? What would you do if you were in Rose's shoes? Would you stay or would you leave? Now, before I answer your question, Rose, I have a question for you. And I want you to be really honest here. I want you to ask yourself, when you first met your fiance, what drew you to him at first? Was it the man that he is or the businessman that he is? Or should I say that he was? Were you at first attracted to the man and the person that he is? Or were you at first attracted to the businessman that he was and the position that he had and the lifestyle that he had and that he could provide for you too? I think that you were at first attracted to the businessman that he was. And since he no longer is the businessman that he was, then you're starting to ask yourself questions. Because right now he is still the same man that he was when you fell in love with him. So if you were at first attracted with the two dad men, should I say, and you fell in love with the man and the person that he is, you wouldn't ask yourself this question because he's still the same person. I want you to think about this. If you leave right now, then yes, you might be able to find someone else who will be able to give you the lifestyle that you always wanted to have and with who you will be able to build a life, but you will lose a big part of that dream, right? Because you had a dream future plans for you and him. So you both created that dream. So without him, then a big, enormous part of the dream is gone. But right now it seems to me like that doesn't really matter to you, does it? And I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to say that you're a bad person for wanting to leave. I think that right now the reason why you have sent me this message and the reason why you're asking yourself this question is because you're trying to find some kind of validation somewhere. You're trying to find someone who will tell you it's okay, you can leave. You're not the mean one for leaving. It's, it's all right. You know, it's normal for you to do that. And I can tell you that. I can tell you that you can leave or that you have to stay. I'm not here to tell you what to do, but I'm here to give you the truth and to give you what the truth looking from the outside in really is in your situation. I think that when it comes to relationship and when it comes to building with someone and creating a future and when it comes to loving someone, it's kind of like being in a plane together, being the pilot and the co-pilot. You know, you're trying to get to a destination, you're trying to, uh, you know, get to a goal, to a dream together. If something happens to the pilot, the co-pilot is not just going to get up and say, well, you know what, I'm done, I'm out of here, let me find my bags, I'm just jumping out of the plane. No. If you are a real co-pilot and you really care about that dream and that goal that you both are going, you know, and building together, then you're going to stay and you're going to take over. That's what relationships are all about. It's about picking up the other person when the person is down and just, you know, being there for the other person and supporting one another. That's what it is about. And to me, in this kind of situation, it seems like you just want to, you know, get up and leave. And if that's what you want to do, then you should do it. You know, you can't stay with someone be simply because you feel pity for them. You can do that, really. I often receive these kinds of questions, to be honest with you, and I often see that there's kind of a pattern when it comes to women who ask this question. It's the pattern that even if we live in the 21st century, there's still women who really don't have the confidence and the strong belief that they can create a wealthy future for themselves. It's like deep down inside of them, they think that I need a man in order to provide me and to facilitate this life for me. Because without a man, I'm not gonna be able to do it alone. And that's completely false, of course, we all know it. I think it's due to the fact that when we were younger, we often heard our grandmothers and our mothers tell us, oh, you need to find yourself a rich man and you will live happily ever after, you will have everything that you want and that you need. That's something that even though they were saying it as a joke, I think it got kind of like 
stuck in our subconscious mind and we kind of believe it up to this day even if we have all the opportunities that we have and we can work and we can make money and we can be really equal to men i think that it's very sad to see but it's kind of a pattern that i see it's a pattern that women don't have that confidence my advice to you rose and like i said i can't tell you whether you have to leave or stay but i will tell you this i will tell you that right now whatever decision you decide to make i want you to really focus on yourself on your goals, on your dreams, and on creating the lifestyle that you want for yourself and by your own self. Not to say that you will not be able to share it one day with someone, absolutely not, but to say that even if one day you find someone, you will have already secured that lifestyle for yourself. So no matter what happens to the other person, whether they leave, whether they lose everything that they have, like your fiance right now, uh, it has happened to him, I want you to really create that future for yourself and have the confidence and the strong belief to know that you can do it for yourself. You don't need anyone to facilitate that lifestyle for you. So I hope that this answered your question. I hope that it helped other people who are in this kind of situation. I think that it's very sad to see, but the truth of the matter is that even if you have a good career and you have a lot of money as a woman and you have, you know, a good pos like a, a social, let's say, position in life, if you are always trying to find a man who has more than what you have and who can facilitate a certain lifestyle for you whether you know it or not you are a gold digger you are a gold digger whether you know it or not because you are trying to find someone who will give you the lifestyle that you want and that you think that you deserve so it's very important ladies that you work on yourself first and that you create the lifestyle and the future that you want but by your own self so that one day you can share it with someone else so that is it for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to share with your friends, and don't forget, of course, to subscribe for new videos in English every single Wednesday. You can also go on my website, alexandrinawell.com, see all the products and services that I offer, and you can subscribe to my email list for new emails every week, free emails, of course. And that is it for today. I am Alexandra Villarreal, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.